Good morning. This is Dr. Johnson again, and I'm back with another installment of the Koi Beginner series of videos. I had a question today that came directly to the office, and I appreciated it a lot. The question was, how do I disinfect plants? Um, you know, like when you put plants in your pond, you don't want snails and eggs from fish and parasites especially coming into your pond. So, And they were loading up on plants for the spring, which is always nice. And so the question was, how do I disinfect plants? And uh, the additional part of the question was, how much malathion do I use to disinfect those plants? Now, I understand the question. Basically, they're hoping the malathion would kill the parasites on the plants, but um, that's not really the way to disinfect plants. And so obviously I explained that and we got through it. But let me give you the answer to that. Um, I didn't make this up. I didn't, uh, I'm not so brilliant. I learned it from plant people. Um, up at Maryland Aquatics, good folks, and uh, so I was up there and I noticed that they were using potassium permanganate on the uh, the plants there, and uh, they had them all lined up in this big long row in bats, and apparently the plants had just been harvested or whatever. I think they grow a percentage of their plants, if not all of them, and then uh, when they bring them in for sale, they uh, treat them for stuff, make sure that they're healthy. And uh, I noticed they were using potassium permanganate, and I said, so is this how you disinfect plants? And they said, yeah. And I said, like, even anacris, because anacris is, like, really frail. Even anacris? And they said, oh, yeah. Um, and uh, it doesn't hurt it a bit. And I said, so, like, what does the potassium permanganate wipe out? And they said, well, it gets rid of goldfish eggs in case the owner doesn't want those in their koi pond. It kills snail eggs and snails. And it whacks um, parasites pretty much universally, which is true. So I thought that was cool. There's a, a, a plant treatment that isn't going to kill anacris. And, and it, I, let me explain. Anacris is like super fragile. Kabamba, same thing. Uh, and none of the plants you couldn't kill with potassium permanganate ever. Um, or actually anything else. So uh, that's what they're using is potassium permanganate. And I, so I was like, all right, so what, what would be the dose of potassium permanganate? And they said, we do double dose. So if you're normally using three to six parts per million with your koi on the fish, then you might want to use something like uh, six to 12 on the plants. Basically, if you're going to use a teaspoon per 600 gallons, then you'd probably use two teaspoons per 600 gallons and double dose. But they said it wasn't particularly critical. So that's what I've been recommending to people. And it garners a couple other questions. One of the questions being that um, they go, well, like what about a plant in a pot? How do I uh, make sure that the pot itself, the dirt in the pot, gets disinfected? Um, basically what you'd want to do is protract or extend the period of time that the plant is in the um, uh, potassium permanganate and um, make sure that on plants with uh, um, airborne uh, foliage like hyacinths, you might want to press them down with a piece of um, fluorescent lighting egg crate if you don't know what fluorescent lighting egg crate is, what you do is you look up at most fluorescent fixtures. They've got this like uh, looks like a waffle pattern stuff over the lights. And that's um, fluorescent lighting um, egg crate, and you can put that on top of the plants and kind of gently push them down into the potassium permanganate so that they're uh, treated. How long do the plants need to stay in there? I'm making this up. Maybe three to six hours, and. Um, there may be some information on KoiVet.com, some folks over there on the message board that could help you with more uh, specific information in that regard. At the beginning, I mentioned malathion. Uh, malathion is excellent in lakes and large ponds for the treatment of flukes. I like it for that, but I don't like it in smaller facilities. If you're dealing with 12,000 gallons or less, I would not dream of using malathion. It is uh, too risky. So, uh, and then there's information, if you're curious, there's information on the uh, Koi Vet website or the Dr. Johnson website uh, about how exactly to use malathion. So that's pretty much what I came to talk to you about today, plant disinfection and the pretty much straight to the point using potassium permanganate for that double dose, potassium permanganate, making sure you submerge the plant, leave it in there for a semi-extended period of time, especially if it has dirt and uh, then you should be able to play, safely put the plants in the pond. One more thing, the best vendors of plants don't keep fish with the plants. If there's no fish with the plants, how can a fish parasite be on the plant? So, uh, I know some guys that when they get a sick fish, they throw it in the plant tank. Well, that's a bummer. But I also know some guys that wouldn't dream of having even a mosquito fish with their plants when they're selling them, which I think is good. Well, that's all for today. Now. What I'm going to do is I got to leave the video running because uh, they always truncate. They cut my videos off. 
it's not intentional. It's just the beauty of technology. So I'm going to set my headphone down and uh, I've got to annotate this video and then I'll upload it. So I appreciate your time and uh, you might want to run over and check out some of these websites. And I'll see you later. Thanks.